For those of you that watch this channel regularly, this place won't need much of an introduction. This is one of my favourite spots to go fishing. Hey you! You're watching Robbie Fishing. Now as with most times when I fish here, I'm fishing with two rods and I've got a pair of Janjuk worms on each rod. The rod, that rod that I just put in has got the heavier sinker because I'm casting it across the current. This rod here's got a really small running sinker and that's just going to go down this side, on this side of the current, close to the bank. Now for those of you that aren't familiar with this place or are new to my channel, this is my happy place. It's not a fantastic fishery, it's not even stocked with any fish, it's just a small creek running through farmland. The bulk of my catch here is carp, but I have caught quite a few redfin, including a few quite nice sized redfin that have been big enough to fill it. And I've caught a couple of blackfish and a couple of Murray cod, although those species are rare. I come here just hoping to get a bite, hoping to catch anything, and most of all, hoping to relax. So I'm going to put my feet up now, keep my eye on my rods, and just wait for a nibble. And if I catch a fish, well that'll be a bit of a bonus. There's a big boil in the creek just there. I saw a big swirl and then a big boil. I've got a, my rod on the left is out near there. I assume it's a carp. That's, uh, that's got me a little bit excited. Big bite, big bite. He's on there, got him. Whoa! I hooked onto a big one. I've had a few nibbles. I've been here about half an hour into this session, I suppose you could say. Uh, 3.35, you've been here about half an hour. And I've had a couple of little nibbles, but there was no nibbling when this one hit it. This went bang! Just got to be careful here that it doesn't wrap around this other line. This is a very heavy fish. A lot of weight in this fish. Has it wrapped around the other line here? Has it? It has too. Even though it's like predominantly a carp water, it's always in the back of my head. There it is. What if it is a cod? But I've seen it now. Even though I know it's most likely never going to be a cod, although I did catch one here once that was about 40 centimetres, I still uh, keep it in the back of my head. What if? What it is, it's a, it's a big carp, certainly not a record-breaking big carp, but a big enough carp, but they quite often get the line tangled around their top fin, which, nah, it's out now, it's broken free, beauty. And when that happens, they just feel so, so much harder to reel in, and they feel so much bigger. I'm going to try not to lose this fish by doing this here. <laughs> Go under that rod. Oh, it's gone back over that side now, though. I haven't had a good enough look to give you an estimate on size. But at this stage it's looking around 60-ish centimetres. I hope I've actually... Oh, I might not quite be there. Oh, it's got to be close. I don't actually know whether I've got a tape measure with me or not. I think I have. Oh yeah, no, this is 60. You'd be close. That's a 60-ish centimetre Al Carpio. And he's in the net now. <laughs> That's a big old carp. Big old mud marlin. Right. Hopefully my camera's pointing in the right direction. It is 61. 61 centimetres. I'll get a quick photo, then I'll turn his lights off. Righto, time to put my line back in. The running sinker rig with the two Janjuk worms was the combination that brought that carp unstuck. Now that carp, the body still remains, but its soul's gone to heaven because this is Australia and that's what we've got to do to them down here. Just getting a bit of a nibble and got him. Hey, it was a very small nibble. It was only a really small nibble. I've had a couple of little nibbles. This is a this is a big fish for a small bite. 
This is actually, is that a mirror carp? Or am I seeing things? I've caught mirror carp here before. They're the craziest looking fish in the water, I reckon. It was a real, I had a couple of little nibbles, so I got off my fat backside up on the fold up chair and I came and sat down here on the dirt right beside me, Rod. It is a, well, well it's a carp, and I'll uh, vouch for that. Pretty similar size to the last one. I think this might be a little smaller. Yeah, this looks like maybe a 53 or a 54 centimetre. The other one was 61. Just going to let it tire out a little bit because I've got to pass my rod. They've got a habit of swimming over this other line. And then I've, I want to net it here, not over there. I don't know why. I might just net it over there. It's going back down there anyway, look. Even though it's the middle of May, and the water's really cold now, they've still got a lot of stamina. A lot of fish species I find, once the water cools down, they don't fight as hard or bite as hard. And carp certainly are the same. Just not this one. <laughs> All right. If you can hear a bit of background noise, I've just got a car going past very quickly. <laughs> Righto, under there. Prepare to meet your lander. My landing net. This is the net that Brett put that 106 centimetre cot in. And he ripped it and bent it and twisted it. You can see I fixed it up with cable ties and a bit of green cord. Sorry, I'm just uh, deliberately stalling here because I'm just trying to wear him out a little bit. There is a bit of a stretch for me to reach down to the to the water with this net. He's starting to tire. As I was saying before, quite often this time of year the fish don't bite as hard. And I find when I catch Murray Cod this time of year on lures, which I don't catch a lot of this time of year, but when I do, I find they don't hit the lure anywhere near as hard and cod aren't hard fighting fish at the best of times, but this time of year they're even, uh, they fight worse than normal. He's tiring out. That's the full, oh, uh, not quite ready. Come on, here we go, this time, this has got him. And in you get, no, not quite. That's just going to make him upset now. Now my initial call was about 53 or 54, I reckon, yeah, I reckon... I reckon about 55. 50, official forecast is 55 centimetres. Unless he gets off, then he becomes 85. Right, here we go, this time, this time, got him. <laughs> Another big old mud marlin in the net. Let's get the tape and get a picture and a measure. Right, now the official... Official measure is... I've got my tape backwards. The official measure is... He's 58. Uh, 59. He's almost as big as the other one. 59 centimetres. Two and a half hours, two carp in May. This has been a good session. A good session. A good session.